Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a redstone workstation. So let's take a look at this thing right here. So I'm going to come inside this house here and this is the redstone workstation. So as you saw there, uh, when you actually flick this lever here, what it will actually do is swap out the block below it with a uh, different workstation piece. So here we have uh, the furnace and it actually works. Um, <laughs> this is insane. I love, uh, I really love this feature about the Windows 10 slash pocket edition of the game. It does actually work. So if we were to, we were to grab, um, I don't know, where's the materials? Here we go. Let's grab some ore out here. If we were to actually, you know, put this into there, we could then send that furnace back into the ground. It will actually smelt that under there. And uh, here we've got our cauldron, so maybe we want to grab out some water. Um, it is a really cool little workstation here. Now you can actually replace these blocks with whatever you like. So for instance, we can change around the cauldron here to like a chest. And let's bring up the furnace again. And let's replace the furnace there with a uh, crafting table. So let's go ahead and see if that worked. There we go. We can put our items into here. Let's send that chest back down and uh, let's get the uh, crafting table out here instead. But just how amazing is that? And I'm gonna show you guys how you can build this now. So the materials that you are going to need is 17 redstone dust, three redstone torches, 11 redstone repeaters, four sticky pistons, four normal pistons, two observer blocks, one block of redstone, two slabs of your choice. I've just gotten some stone ones. It doesn't really matter which ones you have. Uh, one lever and Finally, 64 blocks of your choice. Alrighty, so the first thing that you want to do is find a wall that you want to put this against. So here is one right here and uh, where the blocks are actually going to be swapped is uh, right at, let me hold up, let me go ahead and get this out, is at this position here. So this is where the chest and the cauldron would be. Uh, but what, what we're going to do is, let's actually leave that block there. What we need to do is to the left and right of this block, we need to dig out three blocks. So one, two, three. Do that for the other side. And then basically what we're doing here is we're digging a seven by seven by four deep hole. So from this um, trench over here, or from the trench over here to the end over here, that's actually seven blocks already. So uh, we've done that. What we need to do is go back seven blocks this way. This way. Uh, so we've already dug out one block. So let's go ahead, dig out the rest. So that's one two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go to the left here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then just dig back to the start here. Dig out the center. And then we need to dig this down three more layers. So that's one layer. two layers and then finally the last one here and the fourth layer so there we go it is four blocks deep now so what we need to do now is uh, come to the front here and this is the block that we placed uh, in front of the wall here what we want to do is underneath this place two sticky pistons going upwards like that and then we're gonna have a redstone repeater going into the bottom one and what you want to do is right click that once we want to get out our block of choice here, place it uh, in front of the repeater there, and then on the top half of this uh, piston here, we're going to place a redstone slab like that, two redstone like so. We're going to get an, an observer and place it to the left of this repeater here, and we want the output to face us, and by default it already does. We're going to lead that into a block. Uh, to the left of this block here, we're going to have redstone. We're going to get another slab, place it on the top half of the bottom piston and uh, then place redstone on top of that. We're then going to get our regular pistons here and what we want to do is on this layer which is just above uh, this piston here, so this one here, we want to leave a one block gap either side and place pistons going into or facing towards it, so like that. So let's do this on the other side here as well and it should look something like this. Next we're going to get our blocks and what we're going to do is underneath each piston place blocks going towards the back and we're going to do this five times so one two three four five do that on the other side as well 
And then what we're going to do is come to this left on here and actually destroy the block underneath it because this actually cuts off the redstone here which we do not want to happen. And then at the end here what we're going to do is have uh, up one layer and have three blocks connecting it like that. And then we're going to create some stairs up towards the wall here so you got like that in the center and then place one there. We're going to have some redstone and then we're going to bring it down like this. Fill up this three block area here and then we're going to place one redstone there. On this side we're going to have redstone here and then a redstone repeater facing towards that piston and then same for there. In front of the redstone repeater we're going to destroy those blocks. We're going to place a sticky piston at the bottom and then we're going to place the block back and then leave one gap and we're going to place redstone which then connects to the uh, pistons at the end. Now come down below here and we're going to have a repeater going into this block here. A piece of redstone dust there. And then to the left and right of this redstone here we're going to have uh, two repeaters and what you want to do is make sure they're on their max um, delay so all the way to the end. And then same for the other side here. Lead those repeaters into a block and then we're going to have redstone torch on the front face and then a piece of redstone dust after it and you'll notice that that piston actually goes up we're going to do the same on the other side here block redstone torch and then a piece of redstone dust next we're going to go ahead redstone block here and we're going to have a piston going into it like that so not the sticky one just the regular leave a gap and then place another piston like that facing towards it just with that uh, block gap there. We're then going to place repeater, repeater and then repeater there. We're going to put this first one onto a max tick delay and then for these two final ones right click them once. Redstone at the end there and then redstone here. We're going to place a block to the left of this redstone and then what we need to do is place an observer on top of this block here but we want the output to go into this block so we simply just need to destroy that block there. Come right down here, right click there, and then we should notice that um, the system kind of does something, but do not worry about that. Um, that's perfectly normal. Place some redstone on top of the observer here. Again, it will do that, but do not worry. And pretty much we are done. That's actually everything. So let's go ahead and uh, get the final lever out here. Place that on this block here, and let's go ahead and let's replace the uh, um, block here with something else. So let's go ahead and grab out a chest or something like that so we can actually test this out. So a chest and a cauldron is a cool combination here. Now what you need to do is actually fill the system up from the um, inside here for the other block. So uh, if this redstone repeater here is powered we're going to go over to the other side and place the cauldron there. Otherwise if this one's powered go over to this side and uh, place the cauldron there. However already placed it down so we're not going to place it again and let's go ahead let's flick the lever here and hopefully this is working and would you look at that it is working first shot could you be could you believe it guys could you believe it and we can go ahead and cover this up now so let's just grab out the planks here so what you can do is actually place blocks around this piston head here so place it there and then let's go around this way just so we can kind of cover up some of the redstone so you won't be able to actually see it um, as much and then uh, you can just cover this up as you normally would maybe uh, you know this would be like your wall here in your house so you wouldn't really see back here but uh, you can still cover this up so people wouldn't be able to uh, get access to it make sure you don't cut off any of the redstone here so make sure you don't place a block on top of there uh, let's cover this up a little bit more and then also don't place a block above this redstone torch otherwise it will create a, uh, a kind of a, um, a quick pulser there. And there we go. So let us test this out one more time. So maybe we'll replace the blocks here with something else. So let's go ahead, let's grab like a furnace out and then maybe a crafting table. So let's get rid of that. Um, let's put the furnace there. Let's uh, flick the lever here. We've got the uh, cauldron now, but let's go ahead and replace that with a crafting table. And uh, there we go. So we've created our uh, redstone workstation. So that is going to end off this tutorial today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Uh, this was definitely a new experience because the mechanics of redstone 
are different in the Windows 10 slash Pocket Edition of the game. So it was real fun coming up with this contraption today. But if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you go ahead and snap that like button, snap it right in half, and I will see you guys for some more epic videos. Bye!